Vlogmas day three. We are headed to go have brunch this morning and then I have some PR packages to unbox with you guys. I'm so excited I can finally actually say that on here. It's like unreal. Just a chill, fun, merry Vlogmas type of vlog. I'm gonna go get gas because I am running way low. I do this to myself. Hopefully all of my packages will have come in by then. That's what I'm hoping. If not, we'll just do a part two to the unboxing. <laughs> you could tell by my very short clip that I got in there but that place was insanely busy so I didn't film a whole lot because we literally barely had any place to sit it was insane but it was good it was good it was really good Maddox didn't eat his oatmeal but I did bring him a waffle because I just know my little guy and he loves his waffle it's just like routine for us that he has a waffle every morning and it's a gluten-free waffle there's like literally maybe a gram of sugar I don't know it's his favorite thing literally the highlight of his day so we did that um got him some milk he ate his berries and I got the best iced coffee literally I've ever had in my life this is the one place that I even read is like I don't drink iced coffee often but when I do it's from there it is so good I got a maple spice oat milk latte i might have to go back later this week and get another one so maybe like if i come here during the week for brunch it won't be as busy and i can show you this place because this is absolutely stunning i love it here it's my favorite brunch place i just want to show y'all like this is kind of what you can see i absolutely love this area of my town I mean, this is in the city, this is off the island. So we're inland and it's like my favorite place to go shopping and it's tucked away. So it's like not literally in the middle of the city, like some of our shopping centers. And it just has the cutest outdoor seating. Like I said, I'm gonna have to take you guys here again and show you just how beautiful it is because I really do love this area that I live in. I live in a very small town in South Texas. I say small town, small comparative to where I'm coming from and it's a lot slower pace and I just really, really love it here. If you've been following me for a little bit, you know that we recently moved away from home from DFW and it's been a crazy move, but I literally would not change a thing. I love it here so much. So we're back home. I'm actually uploading Vlogmas Day 2 right now as we speak. Um, and Maddox took a little nap on the way home. He's still napping, so I'm gonna get some work done and wrap some gifts after i upload this and make sure that it's good to go and try to be as productive as possible while he naps because it is saturday reed is still out of town he comes back either tonight or in the morning just depends on how his hunt goes but um yeah usually when he's out of town i try to be as productive as possible and get as much stuff done as possible because when he's here of course like we like to have family time and stuff like that that's why i get us a my dogs are actually the hardest part. That's actually what I get asked the most is why I don't show my husband or my kid in my videos or post on social media. And it's not that I'm hiding them. One, Maddox is so young, like I just don't feel it's appropriate in my opinion. Like I don't want him to grow up and be like, mom, why did you share that video with me? Or like, you know, like I want him to be able to decide that on his own. And I just don't want to introduce him to the public like from the start you know what I mean like that just can scar kids and then as far as like family time and stuff with Reed he doesn't mind being in the videos a lot of times he's like please don't film me like I don't want to be in it I do try to separate the two as much as possible so that like I'm more in the moment when I'm with family and friends versus like always being the person that pulls out their phone and it's like, oh, this would make a cute video and just trying to separate work from family and personal life, if that makes sense. They will be in the videos, I'm sure, somewhere down the line. Reed doesn't mind, like I said, being in the videos, but sometimes there's just parts of our lives that I tend to keep to ourselves because social media is such a fun job but it's so public that there are just some things that I enjoy keeping to myself. And I think that's how it should be. And I hope that there are other influencers and content creators that do the same. I just think of celebrities where their life is constantly on camera and I just could not imagine. And I don't wanna do that to my family because they didn't choose this job. Like it's 
my thing and they like if they don't want to be a part of it i mean that sounds horrible they support it but if they don't want to be on camera then they don't have to be on camera if that makes sense hey guys so that is my chicken heating up i am ridiculous i don't even know how i'm functioning totally underestimated how hard vlogmas starting vlogmas on a weekend when rita's out of town and i'm home by myself with a toddler so Vlogging has been hard this weekend, so I apologize for this video probably not going to be as long and exciting and in-depth as my future ones, but um, we're taking care of laundry. Super exciting, but it's real. It's raw. It's real. It has to be done, so it is literally... What time is it? It's now 8.30. Somehow, in the midst of like, taking care of the dogs, the house, the baby... I forgot to feed myself lunch and dinner, so we're having frozen chicken and waffles for dinner. Super healthy, but we'll get on back on track tomorrow when Reed comes home. Um, yeah, it's been an adjustment this weekend. I don't know how single moms do it. As you can tell, my dog can't even... I had to put her in our cage for a little bit because the other dog is out. I don't know if you can see her. She's currently laying in my laundry. I'm running a circus. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish up laundry, I'm going to eat, and then I'm gonna show you my PR packages and we'll just wrap gifts tomorrow morning. He's a really stinking good kid and literally the hardest part of my day is the dogs. I love them dearly, but they're literally, I want to say like seven years apart. I know that sounds silly to be like, my dogs are seven years apart, but they are. And Lucy was an only dog for literally six or seven years. And then she loves Sadie and they do really well together, but not while parents are around aka me and Reed, they literally get so jealous and hate each other whenever we're around. If we have to board them, what's funny is the last place, like when we were back in DFW, the place that we would board them when we would actually come visit down here was, we always asked if we wanted to board them together and we said no because we didn't know how they would act together. Well, come to find out, every night Sadie would hop over the little kennels or whatever and go find Lucy and sleep with her for the night. Like, it's so cute how much they actually love each other, but they get so jealous of each other when me and Rita are around, so we have to be really careful. They literally cannot be out in the house together in the same room. So, like, it sounds horrible, but they have to, like, take turns coming out. We've tried everything. And Lucy likes being in our bedroom. Like, she doesn't dislike it. But every once in a while, we just have to like send them both outside because they play well together outside. But I don't know. It's very weird. If you're a dog expert and you have any tips, please let me know because I love both my dogs dearly. They make bad choices together. Let's just say that. They're really bad influences on each other. As sisters can be. That makes sense. So today obviously didn't go as planned. Tomorrow's vlog, I can already tell you, is going to be a lot of cleaning because I have to get everything. I'm the type of person I cannot function if there's clutter. And I think another reason I've been so scatterbrained this weekend is because my husband's out of town. I'm taking care of a baby and two dogs and I forget to take care of myself. I'm doing vlogmas and there's clutter and I just like, it's hard. So we're gonna go through what I got in the mail that I haven't unboxed yet. Well. A couple of them I've unboxed, but you guys haven't seen it yet. And then my other stuff should be coming in Monday-ish, so we'll have another unboxing somewhere in next week's vlogs. But let's just start with the one that is on the top. So this is from Wonder Beauty. Oh my gosh, they sent me a ton, a ton of these little eye mask which is good because i was running low on these i love these little eye patches we will probably do one tonight and in the morning gosh i cannot open this but they sent me their upgraded lashes treatment mascara oh that's cute 
Let's see, it says, when your lashes aren't cutting it, upgrade. This treatment mascara features a jet black whipped formula that delivers lightweight, buildable drama that won't clump. Guys, we're trying this in the morning. We're trying it in the morning. I really want to open it, but I'm struggling. The other thing, this is what I already unboxed. I got this little scarf from Amazon, which I don't know when in the world I'm going to be able to wear this, but I've been wanting to style scarves because they are super cute this winter. And this one's super light. Um, like, I don't know if you can tell. It's not very heavy, which is fine because it does get cool here in South Texas. And we saw family in DFW and it gets really cold there for me. I know it doesn't compare to you guys that live in the north, but for me, it's freezing. And then the last thing that I'm going to show y'all for tonight is, I don't know if you have heard of this brand. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's Pavoi. I hope I'm saying that right. P-A-V-O-I. They are a jewelry brand. They sell on Amazon and they sent me this. They sent me two things. I think I have one more coming in. I got to choose three pieces and super pretty ring. And I just did a reel on my Instagram for this. I don't think I showed the ring, but I showed this, which is really pretty. If you guys have already seen it, you know, but it's a little tennis bracelet and the prices on these are absolutely incredible. I will link these down below. I'm just wearing my scarf. Okay. I had a medium size, which is just like a one size. And I really, really wanted that one. But my wrist is so small, I know it wouldn't fit. But this one, you can literally adjust it. And it will fit literally any wrist. Like, it goes to be <laughs> this wide. And if you were a human with that big of a wrist... But I just think this is so pretty. I need to get better at wearing bracelets. I always say I'm going to, and I never do. So when I got the option to choose jewelry from this brand, I was like, oh my gosh, this is my opportunity to just get a bracelet. So I'm really excited about this. Jewelry from this brand, I was like, oh my gosh, this is my opportunity to just get a bracelet. So I'm really excited about this. I hope you can see like a good this camera focuses so much better than my G7X, it's not even funny. But, um, yeah, that's it, guys. I need to go finish folding the laundry that is also on my bed. I don't know how you guys do laundry, but I find myself so much more productive if I just throw it all on my couch because then I'm forced to literally fold it and put it away. Whereas if it's on my bed, I'll just, like, push it to the end of the bed and crawl in it at night. Whereas on the couch, like, this is the living area and i'm a living room girl like i like to be in the living room i don't know if you're like a living room or a bedroom person but i like being in my living room my living room is cozy it's open and i don't know i just like my living room and if my living room's a cluttered mess i end up cleaning it like that's just how it works so like i said tomorrow's vlog is definitely going to be <laughs> very much a sunday reset tomorrow sunday we are completely resetting I will wrap gifts first thing in the morning because, like I said, Reed's coming home tomorrow and I want those gifts wrapped. And then we do have a house project currently in the making. I don't know if you guys saw earlier, you could probably see in the background of laundry earlier. My office is currently sitting right behind me. My office desk, like printer boxes, like the whole shebang. Is behind me right now and in our living room because pipe busted leaked through the ceiling in the office thank god it was the office and not one of our bedrooms or the living room but it busted and we had to clear everything out patch up the ceiling and now we're painting so like i said sometimes what you see on social media i will well, actually not sometimes all the time the things that you see on social media unless people are like telling you the true truth it's just a highlight reel and i'm here to tell you today i am just feeling very <laughs> vulnerable and truthful thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today we have so much more planned for vlogmas like i have some really exciting things planned but this weekend was just super chill 
by myself and this is my first year doing vlogmas so good night you guys i will see you tomorrow for another